Good morning. <clears throat> Today is day two. And, oh gosh, last night I did not, I didn't sleep. I was up. Um, and, like, my head fell asleep. She fell asleep at, like, I don't know, 8.30. So I lay there. Watched a little bit of TV. Um, and I had, I had smoked some weed to calm myself down. So I was in the midst of being a little high, but just kind of miserable still. So I knew I could sleep. By 10 o'clock, I was so uncomfortable. Tossing and turning. Um, oh my gosh, everything just hurt. I just, everything that I tried to do to get comfortable, I couldn't do. It didn't even matter. So I finally got up at like 11 o'clock and went to my dad and said, I need something. You have to help me. And so he gave me um, one milligram Xanax. Didn't do anything. Nothing. I laid back down. Tossed and turned. Oh. Miserable. Found my way back to his bedroom again and said, you have to give me something. So he gave me a five milligram oxycodone better than nothing because I was doing, I'm used to doing 1.30 a day. Wake up every morning, crush up my 30, do a, pe a part of it, not even all of it, um, just to get myself out of bed and to go. So I would go make my coffee, get my dollar bill, and I would snore it. And it got me up and going, like, it made me feel normal. I'm not... I was never doing the blue pill to get high. It was due to a surgery that I had, like a major surgery. And after after being on pain pills for so long, my body was like, oh my God, what are you doing? Taking this away from me? So from that point, I just kept doing it just to feel normal, just to, to get up and get my kid ready, to get up and get ready myself, to go out and do stuff. And so now I'm sitting here nothing because if you ask me a 15 ain't doing shit no, it's doing a little bit but it still leaves cold chills up my spine it still leaves me with goosebumps like right now I feel like I have a cold I'm freezing I literally have a short sleeve shirt on I have a, another shirt on a jacket and I'm freezing I'm freezing on top of goosebumps and sweating and it's not fun um so I got up my, oh, my back is killing me. Like, my lower back feels like you are just punching my back. It, it hurts so bad. Um, and typically in the morning, when I do my bump, it takes out everything away for the time being. So I got up. My dad got me, I'm assuming, a 15. And... It, put it in a shot glass of orange juice and I'm assuming it was a 15 he probably knew on him put less I, I don't know and um, I drank it and it's been about 20 minutes since I've drank it and I my back still hurts I still feel clammy sweaty yucky um, as soon as he gave it to me came right in the bathroom, went through my uh, wallet to see if I had any residue of a 30 left in any of my dollar bills. Because if anybody knows um, somebody that does pills, you know, do you have a dollar bill, a few of them folded up somewhere, which typically either has residue or some left that you forgot, and you know where to search. But I didn't have any. There was nothing. You might as well say I was looking at the <laughs> for nothing. Um, so that's all I'm getting for the day. Like, there's no more. He's not giving me any more. Um, he may have me smoke a little bit of weed, but honestly, that's not kicking in for me. It makes me, I don't know, it's just not what I want to do. So I did come in here and take a little tiny piece of a 20 milligram Adderall. I mean, like tiny, like 
less than the size of my fingernail tiny. Um, so I'm hoping it doesn't like mess up his contraction that he's making to help me get clean. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. I, at this point, I almost wish I had something in my purse because I'm getting a little overwhelmed thinking about later, thinking about tonight, thinking about sleeping and not sleeping and being so uncomfortable. So I'm pretty glad that I'm up and able to get in the shower and get myself going because I have a little kid who wants to play, who wants to do stuff. And you, you, what do you do? Say, no, mommy's sick. That's not an option. That's why those little blue pills help me get out of bed. And here I am, strung out on Roxycodone. And nobody knows. This is a secret. I've got sisters who know. My brother doesn't know. My grandmother knows. My dad knows. My boyfriend knows who is a cop, but doesn't know the extent of it. He just thinks that, oh, mommy's taking a few pain pills because of her surgery. And his answer to that was, oh, babe, just don't take them. Oh, okay. Just don't take, just stop taking them. It's not the way it works. So he's just so green to the situation. Um, so it's just a mess and I'm a mess. So this is day two, um, of just having very little in my system from going to 130 milligram, maybe a little bit more every day, maybe a little bit less for a year to where I am now. And it's not fun at all. So good luck to anybody else who's doing it. And I will check back in with you guys later on today.